Hey guys. Um, so today I'm working on a project that I have been thinking about for a long time, and that is to make a battery box for my live scope. Um, I've been tucking in a 20 volt, 12 amp hour battery inside of my kayak uh, for about a year now, and I found that it's it's caused some issues. Um, sometimes moisture will get in there, and then um, that has led to the live scope malfunctioning at times. And so the other thing too is that the live scope is super power hungry. It basically goes through almost three amp hours of capacity an hour when you're running the live scope. And um, while well, a 20 amp hour battery is about twice the size of what I previously used, uh, it tends to drain the battery in six to eight hours time. So if you're gonna fish for all day or uh, potentially a weekend, it's just not enough juice to help you run it for a long, uh, longer period. So building a battery box, um, myself, I bought uh, some of the materials new on Amazon, like all the wiring, um, the thing that was gonna be the most expensive that took a little bit of trial and error to figure out was the size waterproof box I needed. And I, I found a used Pelican case on uh, eBay that seems to work pretty well. And I'm just gonna take some video and walk you through how I'm building it. It's a little bit of trial and error, so hopefully the build goes well the first time. And uh, if anybody else is out there looking to do the same thing, maybe this will make the learning curve a little bit easier. So let me show you what I got on the bench so far. Um, so right now, uh, this is the, the Pelican box, and I've got two uh, 20 amp hour uh, batteries in here, and it fits uh, really nicely. Um, I will get you the size of the Pelican box, but basically that's that's what it looks like. And I am parallel wiring the batteries right now. Um, so I actually, I got a, this is what kind of came from Amazon and I'm cutting it down and um, adding some new loops and um, heat shrink, heat shrinking them down so they fit well like that and, and it closes up nicely and it'll be waterproof. So um, that's kind of it right now. I'm going to cut things down a little bit more and I'll show you what it looks like and, and how I'm progressing as the project goes. Okay, so let me just show you real quick what I'm doing right now. So I ordered some um, 8 gauge wires with ring terminals off of Amazon. I'll put links to everything in the description. But uh, basically, I can't use the whole uh, piece that they gave me just because it's pretty big and bulky and I'm cutting it down um, just so uh, it'll fit it fits pretty snugly in here and if I have the whole wire I can't shut down the lid that way so uh, basically you can see I'm cutting it so it's just the right amount of length to have the batteries connected in uh, parallel and um, I'm gonna trim this here and then add some um, heat shrink and uh, another little ring terminal there and it should fit nicely. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done in a sec Taking a little collar off there. I'm gonna open up uh, This like that Okay, so we've got this cut here the wire exposed and um, And take some of the heat shrink tubing. We'll cut that in half because I don't need the whole sleeve length All right, so we slide that on here. And then we're gonna pinch the uh, ends of the terminal there around. All right, well, it's on there pretty good. Not the prettiest, but we'll slide the uh, heat shrink tubing over it like so, and we'll uh, heat it up. Okay, so that's our uh, that's a little piece there. Looks pretty good. 
and um, I'm going to check it for, for fit. All right, so that's what we got so far. Everything looks pretty good. It's a little bit longer than I probably should have cut it, but um, <clears throat> next we're going to make a um, you know, connect ring terminals to the plug. This is what it looks like. So we'll cut a small hole in uh, the exterior of the Pelican case and we'll uh, put some uh, waterproof sealant around it so no water leaks in. And um, yeah, so I'm going to put the ring terminals on first and we'll cut the hole and get everything sealed up. Okay, so the next step is we measure the back of the plug here. Um, this is what we want sitting flush with the Pelican case. It's uh, 22 by 13 millimeters. Um, I'm going to sketch it out or um, draw it on the side of the Pelican case with a pencil. Then I'll use a little Dremel to cut it out as best I can. And uh, we'll screw it in, make sure everything fits okay. And then I'll put some, um, I'll uh, seal it up before I screw it in and, and let it dry that way. And we should be good to go. See that? Let's see if it fits. Mm, perfect. Nice. Got everything wired up. This is what it looks like. I uh, had a piece of egg crate foam that was originally in the top here and uh, wouldn't fit with the, the battery. So I took it out, but it actually kind of works perfectly to fill up this uh, space here. And um, yeah, I like, I like the way how this turned out a lot. And I'm going to truth. Let's see. All right. All right. Pretty good. And then you got the, the port here, and that's it. There's your, there's your battery. Uh, two batteries there. That should be enough for a full solid day of fishing plus. And uh, now we're going to wire it to the kayak and um, we'll walk you through that. Okay, well, uh, I think I have the basic layout. Um, the only concern I have is potentially not having heavy enough gauge wire, but I guess we'll uh, have to hook everything up and find out and make any switches if we need to. So here's the basic setup. Um, we've got the battery box here with our external port and um, so we've got our cable here. We're going to connect this cable there. We have another plug going to the side of the kayak here. And uh, that will be wired to the end um, here. And this is a splitter, uh, which will split off and uh, provides power for each of the um, transducers, the live scope, and then the regular transducer. So gonna try to get all that wired up before it gets dark. Uh, it's another thing I'm kind of racing against. It's it's 515 and it'll probably be dark in another 15 minutes. So this might have to be a project that we finish recording tomorrow, but we'll see what we can do. So got most of the wiring done and uh, I'm gonna do a dry run of turning everything on, see if it powers up okay. One thing I realized once I did the wiring is that uh, if I have any problems and blow any fuses, the uh, the fuses are fairly far back in the kayak and they're not uh, probably as accessible as they were before. So I might have to um, rewire it a little bit so I have access to the fuses just in case I need to change them out. But uh, here's the setup so far. Uh, if everything works okay, then I will uh, maybe drill into the kayak tomorrow and um, so here's our battery box all hooked up like before um, it's attached to a, a splitter here 
and um, we have both of the different um, pan optics and then the uh, regular transducer hooked up there everything's been carefully wired um, and uh, yeah so moment of truth let's see if everything fires up and that's a no <laughs> <laughs> okay well didn't like something so um i guess we're back to the drawing board and we'll see maybe where things went wrong okay well uh, we're gonna give this another shot i swapped out the three amp fuse on the uh on the garmin um sometimes they blow and um, we're going to see if maybe that did the trick and maybe the unit will power on. All right. Hey. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a good sign. Okay. Well, we'll see if everything boots up and... Um, if it does, that's good. Um, I did take a, an extension piece out, so perhaps there's something wrong with that, or maybe you couldn't handle the load, but uh, we're going to see if the shorter piece works first, and then I'll try the extension piece. And, you know, a lot of electrical insulation is just troubleshooting. Um, okay, that's a good sign. Look, pan optics is working. Okay, so the initial wiring uh, appears good. Um, I'm going to try the extension piece, and um, I guess I might have to finish up the wiring tomorrow. It's pretty dark. I'm tired. i got other things to do, so I'll do that and, and uh, then give you guys the final rundown. Hey guys, so after getting a good night's sleep and a little bit of running around this morning, I think I finally got my uh, issue figured out. Uh, apparently when I spliced some wires together last night I didn't like the connection so maybe something got crossed but I ended up going out to an auto parts store and buying a single SAE cable to connect the uh, battery box to the um, splitter just to try it out there it is it's not the best cable so I'm probably gonna buy some spares uh, online just because I feel like that could potentially be a weakness but uh, this is the piece that will connect to the terminal that I'm going to attach to the um, bed of my uh, kayak over there. And I uh, just wanted to make sure it fired up. And it does. So that's a good sign. Um, so at this point, I just need to kind of run things inside and, um, yeah, and then test everything up and probably waterproof it once everything's to my satisfaction so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll walk you through it and that'll be it all right so let me show you what i've done here um here's my plug this will go uh to the back of the kayak and i've got it spliced here to some it looks like fairly heavy uh this is 12 gauge three wire cable i got this from lowe's uh the other week and um, these are actually 12 gauge wires here, so uh, everything's matched up. And then I decided on the other end to splice a uh, just quick connect, disconnect uh, SAE terminal just so I can run it down here. And um, that way I've got access, I've got access to the, um, what are these? Uh, <laughs> the fuses if I need to so not everything's wired together and um, yeah so that should work um, I'm gonna cut a hole in the kayak which is always fun and get everything mounted up and then we'll give it a test run all right so I have my spot picked out where I'm gonna put the plug I've decided to put it uh, back here instead of the side um, hopefully that's a good decision and I'm not cutting into anything critical but uh, I have it there. I'm going to cut it out with my uh, uh, Dremel and uh, then run the wires through and and uh, see how everything works. We've got our hole cut. It's uh, not bad. And I'm going to use this super advanced coat hanger technique uh, to fish everything through the hole. 
and uh, we'll get it hooked up. Okay, got everything fished through and connected here inside the kayak. And uh, I guess moment of truth, let's see if it turns on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you know, it turned on just fine without it being wired in there. So uh, I guess we gotta see what's what the problem is. Great. All right, so you'll probably like this one. Um, it it uh, maybe helps to plug in the battery. All right, let's. Okay. Take two. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so note to self before you tear apart all of the wiring and stuff make sure the battery's plugged in um, that's basically it for the install i'll try to write down this step by step with all the parts and i hope you found this helpful if you did please like and subscribe i'll have some more uh, kayak videos and fishing videos and uh, i've got a couple other projects of mine that hopefully you will enjoy watching me screw up as I attempt to put them together. Thanks for watching.